Good morning, science students. This is a short screencast to show you how to use Microsoft Teams. Now, your students will, uh, your teachers will be assigning your work through the normal channels. They'll be assigning you a task on Firefly. Uh, if there's a problem with Firefly, then you should check your email because your teacher will email the, you the work for each lesson. The idea behind Microsoft Teams is that this is a place where you can ask for help, which is why it's called a help forum. It's a place where you can ask for help if you get stuck during any of the learning tasks. So hopefully you should already have see, received um, an invitation to join Microsoft Teams. You might have received many invitations uh, depending on how many science classes you're in. If you click on the open Microsoft Teams, then it will give you the option of uh, downloading the app. Okay, it, I've already downloaded the app, so there we go. Uh, it will give you the option of downloading the desktop app. I strongly suggest that you download the desktop app. That will give you much greater functionality. It works on PCs and it works on Macs as well. Okay, then you can see, look, here are all of my teams. I just wanna go into one of the teams and just talk briefly about how it works. So this is the year 11 physics team. And as you can see up here, um, this is how it should be used. You can see one of the students, Axel, he's posted for help in this team. Can anybody help with this question? And Yuya has given the answer. He's given the correct answer, which is A. Um, but actually this isn't very useful to help Axel's learning move forward. So, I've posted, can you explain why, please? And Yu has done a really great explanation here um, about uh, isotopes having the same number of protons and different number of neutrons. And that's really gonna help Axel move forward with his learning. The only thing that these students could have done even better is they could have posted that in the correct channel. Okay, you can see that the top channel is always the general channel. Okay, but if you look underneath, there might be other channels down there, okay, that are more specific, okay, which are more appropriate for you to post in. So do think carefully about which channel is most appropriate for you to post in. The other thing to think about is etiquette when posting in the forums, okay? You can see um, that um, this is starting a new conversation here. All right, and all of the replies should go in that conversation. Only when you start a new thread, okay, then you need to uh, open uh, a new thread by clicking on here, start a new conversation, okay, and then every other reply, every other uh, part of that conversation should go as a reply within that conversation, okay. Uh, ideally, uh, that's the way that this should be working. Okay, it's important that you don't just keep saying hello, 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 hello. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is it. The etiquette is that you just click reply. It's great that you want to say hello. No problem at all with that. Okay, but let's just do it all in the same conversation, please. Okay, I think that covers everything. Um, it's new technology for us as uh, your teachers, as well as for you. Um, so we'll feel our way through it. Okay, do be polite on the forums. Okay, and do re be respectful on the forums. They're here for you to post for help, um, but actually they're here for you to support other students with their learning as well. So when you see somebody asking for help, help then please you know, get in there and give your best reply. If you get it wrong, don't worry, that's not a problem. Your teachers will be online as well, and they'll be helping to moderate the forums and make sure everybody gets the right answer. But don't, don't you know, even if you're not sure, that's fine, give it a go. Um, you're allowed to make mistakes on these forums. Uh, that's just part of learning. Okay, I hope, the, uh, I hope this big experiment goes well.